Hello everybody, I am Duke James. This is a continuation of my Russia campaign in EU4 Mutant Texas. So, pretty much get everything that I can get, or want, reasonably can get at least. Uh, they give me 4 reps, they're humiliated, I get 500 ducats, they break their alliance with Poland, I get 30 power projection. There's no sense in going on, I don't think. I'm just gonna lose manpower. And the estates are costing me ducats every month, so it's financially makes sense to end it, so we'll have peace. I lost 28,000 men, they lost 34,000 men. Oh yeah, there was this, but uh, I don't think they would have. They wouldn't, wouldn't have taken that anyway. Yeah. So we grabbed twelve hundred ducats. It's a nice haul. I'll take one tenth. So that's eleven hundred ducats that should go to my provinces. Alright, now I can focus on losing this war exhaustion. That all drop down. And I will now get an extra monarch power points for embargoing Turkish Empire, embargoing Hungary, the, the longtime rivals. So that stuff's not going to go away. So, six years. For about six years, I should get that, unless. Should be able to send. There we go. I send an insult to the Turkish Empire, so that'll be an extra five. Probably should have done that after the declared war on Hungary disappeared, but that's all right. I could probably send privateers to the Aegean. That should give me. That gives me one. Everybody's coming back over. I don't think I'll have to deal with these rebellions. They should disappear. Maybe I'll have to deal with the Mongol separatists. The war exhaustion will tick down relatively quickly. 0.16 a year, 0.16 a month. Actually, going to decrease fleet maintenance because it's actually costing me more. I think it's costing me more than it's worth. Point one. Actually, I think I might make point like point zero three, something like that. Actually, but uh, yeah, I'll just uh, 
put them in a port for now. Let's see. I do have 1,500 ducats, so I could build a regional capital. That would, if I build it in Moscow, it'll decrease my autonomy by 5%, a flat 5% in my entire country. The only thing is... I'm going to build a regional capital. I think I want to build it somewhere else outside of Moscow first. Let's see, they give 5 urban gravity, urban gravity modifier, and they cost yearly maintenance of 30 ducats, which... Half of that goes to the court, so it's about a duck in a month. I feel like I'd have a better benefit. I'm thinking about building it in Kaffa first. Because then Kaffa will help reduce the autonomy over here and help convert and convert the religion in these provinces and culture as well. I don't know, I'm not sure entirely. Let's reduce maintenance a little bit. I think I'll revoke a privilege from the greater nobles after I deal with these rebellions, because I might lose potentially three stability, so that would definitely give me rebellions. So I'll do that afterwards. Now there's a discipline guy. Ecclesiastical jurisdiction, religious scandal, Russia gets anti-clericalism. Do the religious scandal. Too bad I can't appropriate church property. My ruler needs three admin. What is going on here? Ooh, the Golden Horde conquered Sibir. And the Kazakhs have, they're uh, occupied by Kazakh tribes. not good. How is my court level coming? 28.8. So that's what? Six, six-ish? Five, five and a half maybe? Five and a half years? Something like that. Moscow's still not burgers. Come on, Moscow. 223,000 urban gravity, 178,000 urban pop. The problem is, urban urban population is increasing, but rural population is increasing with it. So, I'm in a race and I'm losing. I guess it's not it's not that horrible of a thing that the rural population is increasing, as well. It's better than a decreasing, I suppose. Moldavian. 
peasant rebels. Damn it, Moldavia. Don't make your peasants mad. Kill those guys. Renaissance, 0.46 a month. It'll be present in 10 years. 0.46. Oh, Renaissance is not increasing in Constantinople. And there's a ton of ripples up here. So they conquered Cilicia. They cannot go more eastward. They'd run into the Mamluks. Since Kandar is a vassal of the Mamluks. So that's good. The Mamluks are drilling troops in... This province over here. It's a weird province to do it. You know, most countries do it in their capital, but uh, the Mamluks want to be different. They also have 5,000 troops sitting here. And the supply limit's 4,000, so they're losing troops. For no reason. This is the Mamluks, alright. They eat, tooth they eat uh, glue. It's, I'm not very, uh... I don't have much trust in the Mamluks. To uh, help me with the Turkish Empire, but they will prevent the Turkish Empire from attacking me. I believe I don't. I'm Ninety-nine percent sure the Turkish Empire will not attack me while I'm allied to the Mamluks. It's too many troops. Too many troops for them to fight. Took them out. I'm gonna hit my cap. Yeah, most likely I'll hit my cap before I get Renaissance embraced. Speaking of Renaissance, I'm just gonna look at this. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same, except it's not getting into Constantinople anymore, but it's still going to Moscow. It's interesting. Because they don't have a art center. No, they do have an art center. Okay. That's weird. Alright, you can come back. Reduce this a little bit. 21 ducats. That's only because this is messing up. I think it's about 17 ducats. Yeah, so regional capitals, I think I'll just build, continue building in my regional capitals and not actually build an actual capital yet. I think that's what I'll do. Maybe. Possibly. Should I absolutely build a fort down here, though? So I think I'll take Crimea. Yeah, that's at 12%, so I can seize land from them. I'll seize Crimea. See, I like the idea of having a fort in Crimea, 
but it's because it's strategically positioned well but I think I need one here to protect it and plus that urban gravity bonus so I'm gonna build it here not much in terms of strategic placement but necessary since you see what happens when they don't have one Let's just throw half half manpower into it I'll leave the fort until that builds there are 16,000 Mongol separatists Duckets. Duckets from the burgers. I feel like once this flips to the burgers, they should make a lot of money. And it's total yearly revenue of 16 ducats. Ninety percent. Let's bump maintenance up. I'm gonna build a light ship. Get back up to my force limit. Oh shit. Cultural unrest. So now I'm definitely fighting this. These guys. Oh shit. 23,000. 23,000. 23, this will be fun. And by fun, I mean not fun. The opposite of fun. Good thing I didn't uh, revoke a privilege. Still have my stability. I'm gonna build a couple infantry. Get up to fifteen thousand. Good. Harsh treatment though, but that's 85. That is 85 mil power. I don't think I will. Hopefully they rise up in different areas. Because I really don't want to attack a 23k stack. Alright, that's good. That's a 3 0 and that's a 1 0. After that, it's just Kipchak Separatists at 50%. Alright, they melted. These troops are coming. I think I'll wait for those troops to attack these guys since they've already occupied that territory and I can get this one back. Everybody move down there.
This should probably be an easier fight, because they have a worse general. Alright, let's go check Kyle. They're gonna grab that first. That. I don't want them to take too much, because it resets separatism. Doesn't reset, but uh, increases it. I could take the next Miltech. Probably take the next Miltech either once I get Renaissance or once Turkish Empire takes Tech 17. So I'm going to finish out quantity ideas and then it'll give me National Manpower Modifier plus 15%, which should not only increase my maximum manpower, but increase my manpower gain rate as well. Plus reinforce speed. Let's take that. Give me about an extra 10,000 maximum manpower and, what, 10, 10 manpower a month recovery? I could still take the next tech if I wanted to. Take those guys out. Damn it, greater nobles. They lose 10 loyalty, lose 10 legitimacy, 10 prestige. 60% of the provinces controlled by the greater nobles gain 20 unrest. Why does it always seem like greater nobles demand privileges once I get cultural unrest events? That seems like something that's happened in the past as well. It's a conspiracy. They know I'm weak. They're like, uh... Now's the time. We should demand privileges. I want to refuse this. It's just the greater nobles would go down to 43%. And 60% of the provinces gain 20 local unrest. Like, I, I really want to revoke it. But it's just they're going to compound unrest. If I didn't have cultural unrest, that'd be one thing. I'd just refuse it. No brainer. I mean, they control so many territories. The thing is, that most of the territories that have cultural unrest aren't controlled by the greater nobles. Because, like, the Tatars, Tatar, these lands are all controlled by tribals and their different culture. Then again, this one is... That's what, 20 unrest? 20 unrest. This is controlled by lesser nobles. How much money do they have? It 
it's not just the unrest, it's the ten percent, ten percent loyalty. I mean, I could give him gold back to recover five of that. I just don't want to have too many rebellions, because if I get too many rebellions, then I'm I'm in a downward spiral. So I really don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna accept it. It's uh It's not what I wanna do. Just with the cultural unrest and the they're already at fifty three percent. Then I would lose the legitimacy that would also affect it. So I'll just accept it. Alright, and then uh, I'll end this part here and uh, pick it up in the next part. So I want to uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.